Hello, I am Dr. Rashid Ahmed from the Department of Physics of Kohat University of Science and Technology. In the subject of Mathematical Methods of Physics 2 with the course code PHY222, we are at the lecture number 3 and the topic is Applications of Fourier Series. In today's lecture, I will explain what is Fourier Series and uh, its applications to various physical problems. So we start with the meaning of uh, the Fourier series. So imagine that you have uh, a tuning fork and the waves are produced, the sound waves are generated from it when uh, you struck it against uh, something and it's, uh, it starts to vibrate and uh, it prongs, it prongs actually uh, put pressure on the air and uh, it uh, pushes against the air and produces uh, low and high uh, pressures uh, this pattern uh, into the air. Now uh, from uh, the um, uh, tuning fork uh, towards our ear this uh, uh, combination of low and high pressure in the air uh, travel and by this way uh, we hear sound uh, of the uh, vibrating tuning fork. Now this low pressure and high pressure are actually uh, periodic functions of time and uh, uh, they depend upon uh, in time and also the position so when uh, they, uh, the sound from the tuning fork uh, reaches uh, to our ear from the uh, tuning fork then uh, <coughs> we uh, do not get only the one uh, wave but we get actually the combinations of uh, combination of uh, different uh, waves sometimes it is called overtones so now uh, what we get is uh, is a complicated combination and a sum of uh, different types of uh, waves reaching to us uh, usually uh, uh, differing uh, into uh, uh, into their frequencies or wavelengths so the important task is <coughs> now to find out that uh, what is the most important uh, frequency we are hearing uh, and uh, in order to find out uh, this uh, frequency we need to split uh, this uh, uh, waves into its components and uh, such wave or such combination of uh, frequencies is called Fourier series because it, it is then the sum of uh, different uh, uh, frequencies and uh, the most uh, to find out the most important one is, uh, is a daunting task so uh, usually it needs uh, the complete analysis uh, called the Fourier analysis. But in, in today's lecture I will tell you that uh, what uh, Fourier series uh, is and uh, uh, how we can apply it to uh, different physical uh, scenarios. So uh, as I explained then uh, uh, that in the uh, case of this tuning fork when uh, we, uh, when it is vibrating or its uh, prongs are vibrating then it pushes against the uh, air and this in this air uh, there are the low pressures and high pressures generated and uh, these uh, <coughs> patterns then uh, reach to our <coughs> uh, to uh, our ear and uh, the combination of uh, or some of the different uh, 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 frequencies uh, it uh, reaches to our ear uh, but we are interested in sometimes finding out uh, the most important uh, uh, frequencies and for this purpose we need to split up. So let us start and uh, do this. So uh, consider uh, that uh, the wave reaching uh, to us from the uh, tuning fork is of uh, this type. It is a sine wave actually um, that is y is equal to a sine 2 pi uh, lambda into x minus vt and uh, it is not just the one this wave but uh, we get uh, uh, so many of them it's actually the sum of uh, uh, many such waves uh, uh, actually infinite waves but not all of them are uh, important uh, actually some of them are important or few of them are important but we have to know and analyze uh, uh, and find out uh, those uh, harmonics which are important to us so how we do that so first of all, uh, uh, we have to uh, find out uh, that uh, what is the fundamental frequency in uh, this series or this uh, set of uh, the uh, frequencies. So uh, if we, uh, if this is the sine wave or uh, cos wave, uh, because these are all the periodic functions. So uh, re uh, remember that in uh, Fourier series, 
it is uh, uh, interesting or it is uh, you know it's important that uh, we uh, do not uh, divide into uh, um, any other type of function but usually we uh, write the Fourier function or the uh, in, in uh, as a sum of the sine waves and cosine waves which are periodic uh, in themselves and it, it makes analysis a little bit simpler but there are problems with the divergence of this series then one has to tackle it uh, carefully uh, because uh, m most of the time the uh, Fourier series can diverge. So uh, this is the fundamental uh, frequency pro uh, for example so we can have sine uh, wave or uh, cos wave uh, but uh, the, the, the fundamental we, we got the fundamental frequency but this fundamental uh, frequency is accompanied with uh, overtones or harmonics of this type when uh, we can get sine 1 omega t and uh, cos 1 omega t or sine 2 and so on so uh, so the wave reaching to our ears are the sum of uh, uh, those uh, uh, sum of those uh, harmonics and as i already told you now to find out uh, which one is important is uh, the task we solve in the uh, Fourier analysis. Now this uh, 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 Fourier series has got applications or uh, uh, in many physical problems. For example, uh, sound waves as I have already said that any musical notes uh, you hear or, uh, why, or sound from tuning fork, this is a, a Fourier series. Uh, it has got uh, many overtones accompanied with it with a fundamental one and the sum of all this is actually can be represented in a, a Fourier series. So all sound waves are uh, types of uh, Fourier series and then we have uh, the visible light. Uh, in visible light uh, we have uh, uh, got this Fourier series uh, because uh, all the light reaching to us uh, is not only the uh, fundamental frequency but all the frequencies are the overtones so it's a sum of all of them and uh, then we can have a radio waves uh, in uh, radio waves uh, we also have uh, overtones uh, and uh, uh, and fundamental frequencies so this is also a Fourier series uh, then we got uh, water waves uh, these can also be represented uh, by the Fourier series and the x-rays so you see that we can have uh, many uh, physical examples of Fourier series so it's, it has got a uh, 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 interesting and uh, uh, important physical applications uh, in our daily life and uh, and uh, technologically uh, uh, important scenarios uh, the uh, all types of these uh, uh, waves are actually Fourier series so th therefore this uh, Fourier analysis uh, is a very important uh, subject in physics uh, because many physical uh, um, uh, problems uh, are can be represented as a Fourier series Okay, so uh, before we start uh, to uh, develop the tools uh, for uh, analysis of a Fourier series, uh, there is an important uh, concept uh, which is the average or value of a function that how we find the average value of a function because this will be, we will need in finding out the fundamental or important uh, um, uh, uh, frequencies in Fourier series. So let's first discuss about the uh, average value of a function. So <coughs> you know that uh, average means that when we have a number of uh, um, items then uh, we add them up all of them and we divide uh, them on the total number of uh, uh, such objects. Uh, same uh, concept is uh, used here in uh, determining the average value of a function. So, uh, so uh, 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 if you have a look at this uh, function. Uh, it is uh, uh, it is uh, y, that is y is equal to fx. It is a very uh, general type of a function, and uh, if you plot it, for example, uh, <coughs> this is uh, like uh, this curve, and here we are interested in finding out its average value between the uh, two uh, extremes. That is, uh, x1 is equal to a and xn is equal to b. So these are the two end uh, point values. So between this interval, we want to find out what is the average value. Remember that whenever uh, you want to find out the uh, average value of a uh, function, you need to have the interval. So this inter interval is very important. So generally speaking, uh, if we want to find out the value of any function uh, y is equal to fx between the interval a and b, so uh, we do it by uh, first uh, uh, summing the values of a function 
at the uh, at the interval points for example uh, fx1 will be the value of function at x1 and then fx2 will be the value of function at x2 and so on up till uh, uh, the value of function at xn and uh, divided by the total number of uh, of uh, such values so this will in general uh, give us the uh, average of a uh, fourier uh, average of uh, this uh, function average value of this function uh, and uh, 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 what we uh, know is now that the difference between x1 and x2 that is the two neighboring uh, points is equal to delta x let's say write it delta x so what we want to do is now to bring in this delta x in the uh, average value and uh, this we can uh, do by uh, uh, multiplying the average value with the numerator uh, sorry this delta x with the numerator and uh, and also with a denominator so if we multiply and divide by delta x uh, uh, then uh, this uh, whole thing uh, can be written as where n delta x is equal to b minus a because uh, uh, you multiply uh, with the number of uh, intervals uh, uh, number of uh, strips and intervals uh, with uh, with the size of the single interval then this will give you the uh, end points difference that is b minus a the total uh, length actually this is this will be equal to the total length and if we let n tends to infinity that is there are uh, the intervals are uh, very close to infinity then delta x uh, will tend to 0 and uh, with this limit uh, we can uh, write that f of x uh, the uh, the numerator uh, you have seen will be the integral of f of x over dx this is basically uh, a definition of a uh, of an integral uh, divided by b minus a so in this way you see that in terms of integral we have found uh, the average uh, the formula for the average value of uh, uh, of a function and this average value of a function uh, will be uh, very helpful in determining the uh, the coefficients uh, later on uh, the coefficients in the Fourier series so that's why although it's a simple calculation uh, but you have to know the formula that uh, 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 for the average uh, of f of x uh, on any interval so uh, in order to uh, uh, make it uh, more clear i will give you now uh, uh, two examples uh, for averaging uh, the uh, uh, to get the average value of a function on certain integral in first example uh, we will talk uh, about the average value of a sin x and you will see that the average value of uh, sin x is 0 uh, uh, because it's a periodic function and when it vibrates then uh, average value of sin or cos x is 0 and uh, we see how uh, how is it so uh, 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 so you have uh, you need to specify the interval for example we have interval from 0 to 2 pi so whichever interval uh, there is uh, you will find out the average value of a uh, sine function or any cos function uh, uh, sine function is 0 so for example uh, the average value as we know that is equal to uh, here uh, the integral of f of x between two uh, uh, two extreme values divided by b minus a so if uh, i calculate the in numerator this integral so uh, the integral of uh, sin x is uh, cos minus cos and then if you put the limits the what you get is uh, uh, minus cos 2 pi plus cos 0 as we know that it is equal to uh, uh, this is equal to minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 so as you have seen the numerator is equal to 0 so denominator is also uh, so the, everything is 0 so that's why the average value of a sine of x is 0 so in most physical examples uh, or problems when we have uh, to deal with the average values and uh, what we get that uh, if we represent them by sine x uh, uh, this is 0 uh, for example uh, if uh, you recall that the uh, when we represent AC uh, uh, that is electric current uh, uh, alternating current uh, uh, with a sin x uh, then uh, the, its average value is 0 uh, th then it is not a very useful thing to, uh, to use a sin x for uh, representing the uh, alternating current and then what we do is uh, we take square of it so in example 2 uh, I tell you that how we can get the average value uh, of a sin uh, square x so that will be more useful although we cannot use sin x because its average value is 0 but then uh, we can use uh, sin square x uh, because uh, we will you will see that its average value is not equal to 0 
so uh, if you take the average value of sin square x it will not be equal to 0 and if you calculate this integral for example between minus pi to plus pi sin square x dx square this will be equal to cos square x dx, uh, dx. and uh, uh, if there are uh, overtones or harmonics then we can include uh, n uh, over here as well and uh, um, uh, and we also know that the uh, sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 and uh, this is equal to uh, 2 pi uh, and um, uh, from this we find out the value of the uh, average value of the sin square nx or uh, cos square nx dx is equal to pi so in in this way you have seen that the average value of sin square is uh, not uh, equal to 0 and uh, usually in alternating current or uh, any other um, uh, 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 harmonics uh, we use the square for, for example the root mean square values uh, and then uh, it's more useful uh, to use square because the uh, sine x is a value is equal to zero and uh, now you see the average value over a period of sine square x uh, or the average value for cos square x is equal to 1 over 2 pi uh, uh, minus sine square uh, nx dx is equal to cos square nx dx is equal to 1 by 2 and uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, true and you can understand it uh, from over here as well because you see that sine square x plus cos square is, uh, uh, nx is equal to 1 and uh, it is made of sine square and cos square so if the, its total value is equal to 1 uh, or 2 pi then uh, this sine square must be equal to half and this is uh, you can see or here as well uh, uh, that uh, the value of sine and cos is equal to half or if I uh, represent it uh, graphically so you you see that the sine square uh, x between 0 and 2 pi reaches to equal to 1 by 2 and similarly cos square x is equal to 1 by 2 so uh, this famous formula uh, which you know that that sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 is uh, kind of split into uh, two parts of uh, sine square and cos square and then the if you calculate the average value of uh, sine square x this is will be equal to 1 by 2 and if you calculate the average value of cos square x then it is also equal to 1 by 2 so uh, in today's lecture we have seen uh, that uh, the uh, 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 the waves uh, for example sound waves or light waves or x rays uh, when they travel uh, uh, when they reach to uh, from one point to another point they travel then uh, it is not just the one frequency but it is the sum of uh, many frequencies so fundamental frequency is accompanied with uh, uh, many other frequencies uh, usually called overtones or harmonics uh, but sometimes uh, when they pass through uh, any circuit then uh, uh, the most useful one uh, is uh, uh, required and uh, uh, in order to find that most useful one we need certain type of analysis we call the harmonic analysis and uh, this whole series uh, which is the sum of different frequencies is actually a Fourier series so many physical problems can be understood as uh, as a Fourier series and uh, with the help of then Fourier analysis and mathematical and mathematical methods we are able to find out uh, the important overtones so the first step in it is uh, to know the average value of a function uh, which I described. Uh, so uh, average value of function is uh, an integral of that function between two intervals divided by the difference of uh, the, uh, to the total, uh, to total interval. Uh, so <coughs> I, I gave you an example of sin x and sin square x where you have seen that how one can calculate uh, the, uh, the average of that function and uh, it's just the integral uh, in, in any interval you calculate and then you get the average value so sometimes in case of uh, sin x of these trigonometric functions sin x or cos x uh, you get in case of sin x equal uh, value equal to average value equal to zero uh, but it's uh, it's uh, uh, we can find a way around it and find out the average value and use the average value of sin square x uh, which is not equal to zero but in many practical applications we use sine square x and cos square x and uh, the total value is equal to 1 so a half part of uh, uh, the wave is in sine and half part of the r waves are in cos so uh, with this uh, i hope uh, uh, you have uh, understood the uh, meaning of uh, fourier series 
and its uh, some of the its uh, its uses in uh, uh, in physical problems uh, in upcoming lectures uh, i will um, uh, explain that uh, what uh, how we can write out fourier series and uh, how we can find out it different uh, different terms uh, with this i thank you all